Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Cradle. Lately I have been getting many questions related to um, can I do data science course and can I be a data scientist if I'm not from technical background. So I thought uh, why not invite someone from my batch and uh, uh, share their experience uh, and if they are from some different background. So I invited Aditi on this channel and she is from pharmaceutical background and uh, she has managed to get a job in uh, data science field. So. Uh, yeah uh, she is on our channel and she will be uh, sharing her experience and uh, she will tell you uh, what difficulties she faced and uh, how did she manage to complete everything and some time management and uh, some advice that you should uh, take from her because she has been there and she has done that so it will definitely help you uh, if you follow all those things and uh, yeah so that's exactly what we'll be discussing in this video and i hope you will find this video helpful uh, but as always, if you are new here, or if you are subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel and be a part of Programming Cradle family. And also hit the bell icon so that you get notified each time when a video goes live. And if you end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. It keeps you motivated to make such videos for you guys. With that being said, let's start our discussion. Hi Aditi, thanks for joining today and uh, giving some of your time for these uh, valuable input and all. So because uh, lately I've been getting a lot of questions related to uh, uh, if I am from non-technical background, can I still do uh, data science or master's in data science? So, uh, yeah, uh, thanks for coming. So, we'll just start with uh, some of your introduction and uh, background. Uh, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, Roshan. This is nice to get a chance to actually uh, tell my experience, basically, because I was in a similar situation when I was about to take this course. And so, I'm Aditi and uh, I come from a different background. I did my master's in pharmacy previously. I have been working in pharmaceutical industries for what last 10 years or so. And so I was happily settled in my small pharmaceutical world before uh, before I decided to go, go and join this data science course. So that's a little bit of background on me. All right. Uh, so what motivated you to go for a data science course? Uh, so what... Uh, I was seeing these, you know, these growths, these developments in this a field of AI, even in my own field, like in pharmaceutical and in healthcare, this is really the biggest, biggest development that's going on around. And then so during this whole COVID time, when I was actually everywhere around the news and there was data and the decisions being made out of it. And so it, it simply picked up my interest, like what the important decisions could be made by just, mm -hmm. just having the data at the right time. And that, that just push me towards exploring this side more and get me into it. Yeah. So basically you wanted to explore this field and uh, wanted to see if this, act this is actually of your interest or not. That's a good way yeah. to actually take things, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I wanted to explore this. Uh, and apart from that, I was actually seeing in my own field that there's so much going on in here and I wanted to be a part of it right, right from the start rather than later. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's how that's I a, ended up here. That's a really good thing. So uh, let's just talk about uh, university. So you're doing your master's from Newcastle University in data science. So was there any particular uh, reason you chose Newcastle University? Uh, so I was happily, as I said, I was happily located in this Northeast region. Mm -hmm. And so I applied to quite a few universities around like the Sunderland, Teesside, uh, Newcastle. And I did got actually the admissions in all of them as well. But uh, as I say, in Northeast region, Newcastle University is one of the the best university, I would say. And True. being a part of Russell Group makes it even more significant. And then I compared the the a little bit on the modules as well of the different different universities, and I I think I found that most of it was covered, and majority of it was covered in the Newcastle Uni's uh, curriculum. So mm -hmm. I want to, I joined in here. So it is totally possible that even if you are not from technical background, you can get admit in uh, universities like Newcastle University or even other Russell Group universities. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think it all completely depends on um, your personal one-to-one -one scenario, basically how you draft your application, how you put yourself that what kind of what motivates you to join this course and what's your background and stuff like that. So absolutely, yes. Yeah, I totally agree because if you are applying to these universities, the main, most important thing is uh, your SOP or personal statement. So what you are putting in that uh, is the real deal. So if you are able to portray your real interest in data science using your SOP and stuff, so there are chances that you can get uh, admission in good universities even though you are not from technical background. Yeah, so that yeah, totally makes sense. So uh, now that you have 
almost done your course and you are in your uh, dissertation now so are you satisfied with the course and uh, teaching methodology and the course content in general and uh, also the assessment which we had so uh, what are your thoughts about that i think the overall curriculum and the structure of the co- course is really nice because there's loads of you know the a- application part of it rather than just the theory part of it and but i think it would have been a bit better if there was a little bit more structure more guidance from the the professors on mm-hmm. each modules rather than just leaving us in the you know just learn by yourself learn by doing approach um especially for like people like me when when mm-hmm. i come from a very different background and suddenly there's loads of expectations and you are the, just on your own um again you learn a lot doing that way but uh, overall i have enjoyed the course thoroughly mm-hmm. it's only that i would have i would have liked it if there was a little bit more guidance from the, the professors mm-hmm. and the whole whole structured modules as well yeah i mean i can if i try to look from your perspective it totally makes sense and why i chose new college university was because it had literally everything what i needed and i had a little bit of background in this so i just wanted to uh um, get my hands on on real world projects and stuff and i didn't really want too much guidance because i already knew things so for me it was sort of easy but uh, i totally understand if someone is very new to things and they don't know what to look where and what actually to look for so if you get to know those things to start with actually it makes things easy but then again i understand that data science is a vast field and it's hard to tell Uh, what to do with a specific data because all the data are different so yeah. you have to you have to uh, try different approaches for different type of data so it's hard from professor side also to tell you one thumb rule that okay always follow this thing so it's hard but that's why probably we are just exploring things but then again i understand from a person who is not from this particular background so how will they actually going to manage things so yeah it uh, totally makes sense Uh with that uh let's move on to the next question which is uh, did you get any real world exposure like did you get any project which you which was actually associated to industry and stuff I think that's that's what the Newcastle University actually is very good at like throughout the course we have practically applied what we learned and we alongside just learning the stuff we have built our own portfolio side by side and it massively helped it massively helped me even searching for the job getting a job and i would say preparing me a little bit to how to enter the this this world basically uh, so yeah i totally agree uh, and the sort of projects that we did it's not like we were working on a toy data set it was actually a real world data set like uh, data set collected from facebook and uh, distracted driver project which i worked on and then we also had this data science in the wild module where we actually yeah. collaborated with the companies so yeah these type of projects actually give you upper hand uh, if you if you just compare with the people who are uh, doing their masters or even they are just doing the courses on toy data set so it's actually a good thing to have such kind of things yeah completely agree um any specific problems that you face like if you you felt like like i am stuck there so in those moments were you able to get some sort of help maybe from your a professors or people around you so um, anything you would like to mention yeah i think as as you say we have already always worked on the real world and like a uh, industry scale data sets and uh, real world like problems not just the toy ones there have been almost endless times where i have found myself stuck on problems for very long including now in my dissertation <laughs> um, but uh, sometimes i think some of the modules the lecturers were really nice and they were very very you know keen and eager and helpful some on some modules uh, we haven't found that much help from the the professors themselves but then i think um, i think we had built that kind of relationship amongst the whole batch amongst our colleagues and ourselves that we had been able to come and like work as a team get help from friends when needed if if not from supervisors sometimes there were phd students or the demonstrators who were able to help us so far i think yes you are getting stuck in on problems but so far you are able to manage to get help as well when needed and i think the most important bit was the google and like learning a lot from reading so many articles blog posts and you know papers and stuff like that that's the biggest help anyways yeah so you put uh, two good points here like having a good relationship among students and also uh, demonstrators so that when you need help 
you get from them so that is one thing and the other thing is google because if you are into it you need to know how to google and google is your friend so you just need yeah. to search things and you learn a lot after google because if you are stuck in something most likely somebody else was also stuck there so there are chances that uh, you will find the solution on the internet yeah so, yeah these two points are actually very uh, helpful for someone who is very new to this thing in fact i think uh, as i said on the point of uh, getting help up amongst ourselves like within the students so i think it it was a massive opportunity because if somebody else was stuck on something that that was a learning experience for me as well and if i was stuck on something else that's a learning experience for everybody so that helped a lot learn the grow together yeah i totally agree because uh, it's yeah. not like i can experience all the errors or all the difficulties and then learn we also learn from others uh difficulties so even yeah. in my experience when i was looking into some of the errors i learned okay this can also happen to me so maybe i know now uh, if this happens in the future i need to try this approach so yeah uh, it totally makes sense and it's a part of learning actually yeah true uh now that's nice uh so yeah uh do you think it was worth taking this course uh because lot of people they will be spending a lot of money and it's a huge investment to take this or this type of course so do you think it was worth taking this course mm, i would say absolutely yes i would i would 100% agree on it was worth taking it in fact i think it's it's the right time to take it because you know the whole if we look around ourselves and into news everywhere before doing this course i was not so much aware of those you know but now that i'm doing this course all the news and all the recent developments happening around i'm a bit more aware of and i can relate to it a bit more and that that i think it's absolutely worth taking this course mm-hmm. right at this particular time and i think being a part of you know what's coming up and getting ourselves prepared for it is better than than it is there and then you know you just have to do it kind of scenario so yeah yeah that's true and if i just talk about specifically talk about newcastle university they have really good uh, research and development part like if we talk about this catalyst or nicd yeah there are a lot of uh, data related uh, research is going on a lot of big companies are investing in this so to be a part of this type of university and it's not uh, actually about just newcastle university actually there are a lot of other research group universities who are doing this these kind of research work so yeah. if we can be a part of uh, this type of research or university it again helps us to gain some sort of real world uh, opportunities a real world uh, problem or scenarios so okay. yeah i totally agree that is also a important aspect of a course um if we move on to the last question like i had uh, these many questions but then if you, if you have like uh, some general advice that someone should uh, keep in mind like if they are coming to newcastle or joining newcastle university so is there anything that they should keep in mind and they should follow so that their further uh, journey should become or they, it will become little easier for them so any general advice uh, yeah first of all uh, you can do it so believe in yourself um just because you're coming from a different background or you know you're coming from a a really different kind of uh, environment doesn't mean that you can't do it and i i initially that was my thought as well quite quite scared but i can i can guarantee you that it, can, it is doable it is manageable and yes absolutely worth it the second advice i would say is when i came in i didn't actually had i wasn't prepared i i haven't had any coding experience i didn't had i think i did had some uh, background in st- statistics and maths but that was long time ago and i hadn't freshened up my concepts so i would recommend if you have time before joining absolutely go for it Just learn a little bit basics of coding learn a little bit basics of statistics and that will help you big time throughout the course because then that takes away you know um, the, your precious time because you can then put efforts on learning the other stuff rather than learning the basics again and also be prepared that this course is very intensive you won't get a single day or a single hour of free and so prepare yourself and brace yourself that you are on a journey uh, which is going to be hectic but which is absolutely going to be you know a uh, journey of your lifetime i would say uh, but apart from that newcastle is a good university you have loads and i think it's a it's a really good area and it's cheaper as well compared to the rest of the country to be honest True. and having a good university and a good course in such area is is a plus point i would say a bonus point but yeah yeah absolutely go for it best <laughs> luck <laughs> uh, thank you for sharing your advices and also uh, 
the thing is being mentally prepared is one of the important thing and uh, we already know that this course is for one year so we are committed that we want to cover a lot of things in just one year so being mentally prepared that we have to go through lots and lots of content in just one year and do lots of projects as well and on top of that we have to write report Rep- report is probably the most important thing of any uh, project so yeah we need to be mentally prepared for that so that's a good advice actually <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one one more thing like uh, you manage this uh, whole masters by yourself by, by yourself but managing a family and also uh, this course it would have been really hectic like sometimes when we discuss about things like how it is uh, handling all these things <laughs> sometimes we get motivated if she can do it we can do it too so so uh, how did you manage your time like uh, some any tips on time management So right from the beginning like I knew that I had commitments I have family commitments and apart from that that I'm coming from a different background I was quite prepared for the challenge like I knew that I will if somebody is putting 1 hour of worth of efforts then I will need at least 3 or 4 hours worth of efforts on it and I think as you say coming prepared mentally is the biggest biggest hurdle solved anyways um apart from that yes i did struggle at times like managing with families always especially smaller younger kids like me but then i got help from my parents as well they they were helpful enough to come and help support me and then i i, I have good colleagues like you <laughs> and others <laughs> so yeah it's mm. fun anyway <laughs> so <never> mind <laughs> yeah i mean these sort of things when we feel like completely drained out and stressed out if we look back at those things it's we feel like it was actually a hell of a journey you know so yeah it's it's a part of life i mean it's good to if we are managing those things and if we are actually being uh, put into these kind of scenarios we actually learn a lot of time management so that's a good thing yeah and i think uh, we don't realize until we come into those challenges that what we are capable of so when yeah, you exactly. are into it you are into it yeah exactly yeah. because if if i talk about myself when i came here i literally didn't know anything how to cook you know <laughs> now i can <laughs> make few things <laughs> and uh, now when i look back i was i i i'm most of the time like uh, cooking is not that hard you know but why i was so scared of it when i actually when i was actually started cooking then i felt like okay yeah it's not that hard and we can do so if i can do cooking then anybody can learn data science you know <laughs> <laughs> no that's your next upcoming challenge being the best chef in the world <laughs> yeah that that that's the next milestone <laughs> uh all right so yeah these were the questions that i had and it was really nice talking to you and i'm sure many people are going to find this very motivating and helpful so, so. yeah uh, thank you so much <laughs> have a good day no problem cheers and you bye bye so there you have it i hope you found this video helpful if you did give this video a thumbs up it will keep me motivated to make such videos for you guys and if you want to download data science notes link is in the description and if you want to know how you can find a job you might have found already the card in the video so you can check out that video as well and i will leave a link to aditi's profile in the uh, in the description so you can check out that as well so yeah with that being said i will end this video don't forget to subscribe share like and comment all those good things so see you in the next video bye happy learning